with all the smarts it's got, the new Trek Rail 9.9 XX1AXS should get a PhD in addition to the new Bosch smart system. The 2022 model is the first to come equipped with rock shock suspension featuring air with sensors. But does Dr. Rail really benefit from all that smartness on the trail? The Trek Rail has been the most capable EMTB in the American brand's portfolio since 2019. It promises to excel even on the most demanding descents and recently it convinced us of that in our big 2021 EMTB group test. There, its predecessor Trek Rail 9.9X01 proved its capability on rough downhills. Some of the core ingredients of this recipe for success have remained untouched. As such, the 2022 Trek Rail rolls on 29 wheels and offers 160 mm travel up front and 150 mm in the back. What's more, Trek have made numerous updates to prepare the new rail for the coming season. They're asking your 13,599 for the flagship model, ticking the boxes with every new feature you can think of. Fully equipped our size L test bike weighs 23.52 kg. The new Trek Rail 9.9 XX1 AXS in detail. For the new Rail Trek are relying on the Bosch Performance Line CX smart system. Though the motor itself remains largely unaffected by the update, it's neatly integrated into the carbon frame and the skid plate allows it to blend seamlessly with the rail silhouette. A new addition to Bosch's smart system is the bigger 750 WH battery. As usual with Trek, the battery can be removed from the side of the down tube and comes with a convenient carrying handle. The down tube and the battery opening in the frame had to be adapted to accommodate a larger battery. Along with the new battery, the display and remote are spanking new, too. The Kiox 300 display sits well protected on the top too, but this makes it a little harder to read while riding. The cables connecting the display are all hidden inside the frame. The new Bosch LED remote is where the action happens. It controls all EMTB specific functions on the rail and can display the battery level and support mode via its integrated LED. There's a catch though, operating the many small buttons on the remote takes some getting used to. All the cables running from the cockpit are routed into the frame via ports just behind the head tube. Speaking of which, the head tube on the Trek rail is quite burly, though it blends in nicely with the bike's silhouette thanks to the 1.8 steerer tube and the oversized crown of the RockShox ZEB fork, making it sit flush with, with the head tube. Trek have fitted their Knockblock 2.0 in the headset so that neither the display nor the frame gets damaged by the handlebar or fork crown in the event of a crash, allowing you to turn the handlebar by a maximum of 72 dead in each direction. The hitch proved to be a technical challenge for Trek engineers, but more on that later. There's a convenient spring-loaded flap to keep the charging port in the seat too clean and dry, and the flap is color-matched to the frame. While we're on the topic, we could spend hours admiring the deep red color scheme, which Trek call carbon red smoke slashed Viper red. If you don't like the combo, you can pay a little more and go wild in the Project One configurator, offering a myriad of color combinations and elaborate effects for the Trek rail. The Trek rail is the first EMTB featuring the new AirWiz system, which is a digital pressure gauge for the suspension and only comes spexed on the flagship rail 9.9 model. It monitors the fork and shock performance, displaying the exact air pressure on your smartphone via a Bluetooth connection. The two little helpers are listed as new sensors in the SRAM AXS app. To make the suspension setup as simple as possible for newbies, you can enter your weight in the app and it will give you a target pressure for each component. If the current pressure is outside the target range, plus slash two psi in the fork and plus slash five psi in the shock, you'll see a red light flashing on the affected component to let you know. If the recommended air pressure seems too low or too high, the app also allows you to set the target range manually, which we had to do regularly.